Um, this is Mr. Neighbors here. I'm getting to get this started. Um, I've noticed I've seen some of my Ed 10 students in here, and I don't know if I sent it to the wrong person. This is for IS 15. If you're here for Ed 10, you have probably, Mr. Neighbor, maybe sent the wrong email to you. There's no meeting this week. Um, if this is IS 15, you're here to learn about Connect and uh, SimNet. Actually, in SimNet, how to do your projects. This is where you want to be. Okay. Um, it's going to be IS 15 talking about SimNet today and their projects. So here I go. I'm going to share my screen. Uh, okay. Let's look at here. I'll go here. Okay. Let me turn my music off. Don't you just love when I do that? Um, we'll go here. All right. So here we are. We're looking at... Um, our IS 15 class, um, and here's what we're going to do. We're going to go into SimNet because we're going to just focus on projects. Okay, so here we go. We come in here, and you see. Well, this is because I'm the boss man, so I'm going to go in as a student. I'm sorry. I'm going to go in as a student here. SimNet. You can always go by these little blocks or you can change it to list i like the blocks i don't know how so let's go into word we click here and you'll see there's an application test which we don't do till the end there's a project one two three and four and there's a training i would suggest you do the training first let's look at one thing in modules once we get there once it all loads i scroll down I'm just going to pick one right down here. You will see, as we go down, you will see that there are videos on Word 2019. Okay. So project one, this is step by step of what you're going to have to do, just so you know. So if you get lost in modules, go in there, look for the Word instructions. It's right there. Project two, project three, project four. This is what it's referring to, step by step. So let's look at project one. We've never done anything like this. Okay, so this is what it is. We have to download the start file. And then we're going to go through it. I'm just going to show you here. We're going to go through all these steps. And, you know, once you accomplish the step, you check it off and you know where you are. You're going to go all the way through. Okay, you go through everything all the way down. And this is what it's going to look like when you're done. Okay. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to save something. I'm going to go save the start file. And you notice it downloads it right here. And I can see it on my browser. Um, I'm just going to double click on it. And it opens up in Word. It's going to take a second. I don't have Word open. I didn't prep that. I'm sorry. So Word's going to open. Somebody show me. Do you see my Word thing opening? Is that on your screen? Somebody said yes or no. Okay, no, I don't second. see it. I'm, I might have to grab it again once it's opening. Hold on. I'm going to stop share and try this. Um, let me open up Word. It's coming right here. I'm going to share again. Um, I'm going to share the whole screen so that you guys can see that. Let me see the whole screen. I'm going to do the whole thing. We're going to say screen two. So hopefully you can see everything and it's right here. You see behind it is the project SimNet. And here's the thing. Now, if you try to work on your Word document right now, it's going to scream at you. It's going to yell at you. It's going to say, no, 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 no. Why, Mr. Neighbors? Why? See this little yellow bar? You always have to enable it. You're going to have to enable it in Excel. You're going to have to enable it in Word. Every project, you're going to have to enable it in Access, PowerPoint, you name it, okay? And then it disappears. And then the whole thing opens up. But if you see here, I won't let it, just a second, my words, I don't have nice as computers you guys do. I'm gonna bring it over here and pick this side. So now, here's my word side. Do you see my word side? Somebody shake your head so I know if it's yes or no. And you see my, okay, good. And you see my SimNet side. This is going to walk you through everything. 
okay? It wants you to do certain things like um, open the document, okay? Enable it, which we just did. Check it off. Um, coming right here, um, rename automatically includes the name. So now here's what I want you to do. This is something I like to do. I gotta move my little screen up here to drive me nuts, okay. Um, I come to file, I come to file here and I go save as, just do it, it it's really good. And you're gonna say, I wanna go to my desktop, okay? So what this means is we're gonna save this file to the desktop and it's Brent Neighbors. And that's where I'll go look at it. But when I first downloaded it, does anybody know where it went? It went to the download folder. So if you do this step and always pick the desktop and save it, you know where to go back to look for it. Number one problem I have with students is they cannot find it when they go back to look for it. And they upload the original file that is blank back in the SimNet and they call me all puzzled. They're like, Mr. Neighbors, I can't figure it out. Why, why did I get an absolute zero? I worked for three hours. Folks, the only way to get a zero on a project is that you upload the, the original file that you didn't know there was nothing on it because you saved it to your desktop and you forgot and you went back into your downloads and uploaded it from your downloads. So if you get a zero, that's a telltale sign that you uploaded it from the wrong place. So I'm doing it from the desktop. I save it. And I always remember it. That's good. That one's done. And I keep going through. Control A tells me go control A. Got it. Okay. The paragraph launcher. Let's go back into home. You got the paragraph launcher right here. Okay. And it tells you, oh, look at all the pictures. It tells you everything, Mr. Neighbors. That is so cool. You did a really good job. I'm just kidding. I'm just harassing myself. But look, at you can come in here into modules. Project one, and it is going to do everything that you need, okay? It's a little older version, but it's still gonna show you step-by-step. Step. It's gonna show you step-by-step step of what to do. And what I always do is I try to, imp I, I increase the sp speed of the playback. And sometimes I even turn off Sometimes I even turn off the sound. Come over here and I turn the sound because I just really looking for what's up. And then I find, I can even fast forward like, hey, I'm having a trouble with this box. Oh, look at, there it is. I can pause it right there and figure out what was wrong, okay? So at no time in this class, you should say, Mr. Neighbors, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, let me go back into some that. It's all here, it's all done. And you go, well, you would continue with this. I'm not gonna do this all for you, okay? You just keep following these changes. That's all you gotta do. And at the end, it's one page. If you have more than one page, you did something wrong. You see these spaces, there's a lot of things. Here's the one thing people make a mistake at. Um, they do control A and they change all this stuff because control A is select all. And they make all these changes. But for some reason, they didn't do that and they skipped it and they started here. And you do all the work and then you go back and <laughs> hit control A and you change the line spacing. It messes everything up. So you've got to go step by step by step by step by step. Okay. So let's do a couple of these. So when I upload it here, you can see what it's going to look like. Um, Let me see so we can see it. It's going to look like this. It's going to tell you what you, I'm just improvising here, just so you know. 12, it's going to be multiple. Whoops, Mr. Neighbors did something bad. I didn't do control. There we go. I did have it. I just didn't see it. Come back. I want 12 spaces. It tells me I want multiple pages. Zero, zero, zero. I hit OK. Uh, where did I have my measures wrong? Oh, PT. I can go like this, 12. Okay, that's what it looks like. And it's going to tell you to do some deleting. Okay, let me see, make sure I have it right. Left body, 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 body. And it's going to then have you delete some stuff to make sure and bring it all back in. You do some work. So now I'm going to hit the save button right here. Save. That saves it back to my desktop. So 
you've got a hot day, some some place to go, and you need to upload this and come back to work later on it. Totally fine. You come back in here and you hit upload. Where did I get it from? Where is this file? It is on my desktop. It is not on my downloads and it's not in my documents. All these, you notice that? So it's on my desktop. It's right here. I see it right away. And I go here and it asks me a question. <sighs> Would you like to submit it for grading? No, I'm not ready yet. What does that do? It saves it until you come back. If let's say you're working on somebody else's computer. So it saves it and you'll notice it's right here now. You can click on it and it opens it up and you can continue working and everything's great. But since it's on your computer, you could have it saved on your desktop and continue working from there. So when you're done with it, watch what we do. We find it on the desktop. We double click on it. We are ready to submit the file or not, but I am grading it. So it waits, it's grading the whole entire thing. And that brings up the grade. Okay. I got one correct. You can see here, it says I got attempt first attempt and I have one area correct because I only did one step. Okay. Make this a little smaller. And as I scroll down, I have all these areas that are incomplete. Okay. Now, this is not your original document. It's just a, a, a graphic they put back here. So don't say, well, look at, see, on the screen there, I did it right. Look at right here. How come it's wrong? This just tells you what you did wrong and on, on the actual document. So it says, uh, the image is not the file you submitted. It's a representation. So always remember that. I get a lot of students ask that. So you may submit this seven times for a grade until it's perfect, okay? So I got one partial and I got incorrect 10. So I can download the original I submitted. So if I wanted to look at it again, but right now I have one grade in and hopefully you're gonna do multiple grades, but that's the extent of what you have to do. You have to pick your assignment. So we're in Word. You've gotta do your training first. Do not do the application test first. It says it's submitted. You can do it again. Download their instructions. Sometimes, you know what, you're like, Mr. Neighbors, I got a 92, I want 100%. And I keep doing it right and it's not doing it. What I always tell you is to download the start file. You know how to do it really well and complete it again. It's not gonna hurt you. You got time to do it, okay? The thing is you don't wanna redo it. But if you want that 100%, sometimes in Word, Excel's not that bad in Access and PowerPoint isn't, but Word has some hidden characters that can cause some problems, okay? So I'm going to stop sharing because I want to ask questions now. Um, anybody have questions? Yes. About, I just wanted, okay, Brett, go for it. Uh, I just wanted to confirm it was eight attempts week before. I think it says correct? seven, but you know what? Seven I'd have to look. Um, I'll have to look on it just a second. Uh, but we do have multiple attempts to get that. Oh, yes. And I do correct. take the highest. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. I'm going to go out of here and see, go back to course manager. See, mine's all craziness, so you don't get to see all the fun stuff I get to see. Um, <laughs> lessons manage. Let's see what it says here. I can tell you for sure that I thought it's seven. Let's see, organize. <laughs> Word, project one. Yeah, it says eight attempts. It is. Boy, okay, perfect. Seven on Thank that you. one. You know what? I'm, I hate to tell you all, but I'm going to push it to seven because all of them are seven. I don't want to get anybody confused. I think it's fair that way for everybody. Uh, believe me, if you need more than seven attempts, you're not watching the videos and you're not reading the directions. Okay? It's going to take some time to get used to projects, but after you've done one, they all are the same. They're not the same project, but they have the same process. Download a start file, read the directions, go along with the video, do the activity, upload it, and it grades. You're not liking it, start with your file you had, or download it again. Remember, if you get an absolute zero after working on a project, it's because you uploaded the wrong file, meaning 
it automatically downloads to downloads and you save it to your desktop. But when you get ready to upload it, you upload it from your downloads, which is the original file you downloaded, which you never opened because you saved that one to your desktop. That's usually the problem. Other questions that are out there. Anybody else have questions? Yes. Um, what happens if you upload it, like you said, the blank file and say we still have time to continue? You still got six more to do. Okay, so we can still go back in there and- Yeah. You know what? I will guarantee you three students after even if they watch the video or they were live in this meeting today, there'll be three students in this class of 125 that will upload it and it'll be zero and they'll, they'll be scratching their head, emailing me, oh, what happened? I worked so hard on it and I'll have to go through this process again. And you know what? Again, I take your highest grade. I try to be as fair as I can in this class because I know it's an online class. And I've also taught for 20 years online. So I understand hopefully what you guys are going through. Other questions? Now, I have five kids. And when I explain something, they all don't get it. And there's no way I did a, that bang up of a job that all of you guys get it. Ask some questions if you got them. Wow. I must've been on the game today or you guys are just absolutely sick and tired of Zoom conferences. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop this recording so I can send it out to people who missed.